Now, there is another way to find a valid expression starting from a certain kind of form, although it's way, way, way longer. Uh, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So let's suppose that we have something like y naught times x plus c naught. And we want to find another expression that is still valid and it has um, as little as possible um, combination in order to express it. Um, we can start by writing the truth table for this. It will be, it will have x, y, z, and the result here, just like this. Um, we could say, okay, let's try all the different combinations since we have three variables. Um, so we can say, okay, um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. Now, if we do just this, we can try and test those and see. Whoops. And see what we get. So if we put, if we plug in um, zero um, for x, zero for y, and zero for z, uh, what we're gonna get is zero naught times zero plus zero naught. So this is just one times zero plus one, which is one times one, which is one. So our result in this case is one. Now, if we do just that for these other um, three inputs, so 0 for x, 0 for y, and 1 for z, what we're going to end up with is 0 naught times 0 plus 1 naught, which is equal to 1 times 0 plus 0, which is 1 times 0, which is 0. So in this case, our result is 0. Now, if we do that again, we get that uh, one naught times uh, zero plus zero naught equal to zero uh, times zero plus one, which is zero um, times one, which is zero. So in this case, it's zero. Now again, in this case, but with zero, one, one, um, we're basically gonna get zero. Oh, well, um, no, sorry. We're gonna get one, not times um, Y because Y is one, then zero, um, and then Z is one, so it's one and not one times zero plus one not, which is zero times zero plus zero, which is zero times zero, which is zero. Again, our result here is zero, and with one zero zero, we if we plug that in, we get zero not. Um, times 1 plus 0 not so it's 1 times 1 plus 1 so it's 1 times 1 so it's 1 so you get 1 and again with 101 if we plug that in we get 0 not times 1 plus 1 not um, so it's 1 times 1 plus 0, so 1 times 1, which is 1. 
and again it's one. And again with one one zero, we get one naught times one plus zero naught, zero times one plus one, with zero times one, so it's zero. And again we get zero here. And then with one one one, we get one naught times one plus one naught. Well, zero times one plus zero equals well, zero times one equals zero. So we end up with zero. Now we have our truth table here. Um, and we can say, okay, fair enough. These are all the possible combinations. So all the possible combinations are and we get all the possible combinations so x y z plus x naught y z plus x y naught z plus x y z naught plus x naught y naught z plus x naught y z naught plus x y naught z naught plus x naught y naught z naught. Now those will be all the possible combination but we're not going to use all of them we don't want all of them we want to reduce this as much as possible. So um, whenever we are looking for this in the, our truth table. Um, we're looking when the function is one. So the function is one, okay? Um, and we can notice that every single time our y is one, the function is zero. So for y equal to one, the function is zero. For y equal to one, the function is zero. For y equal to one, the function is zero. For y equal to one, the function is zero. So once we notice that, we can say that we can get rid of all the values um, in which what there is y. So we can say that every time, every time, The, uh, every time, sorry, y is equal to 1, the function, function is 0. Therefore, I can get rid of all the values values in which there is y. So what this means is that since for every time the y is 1 the function is 0, I can get rid of them because I want to know where the function is 1, not where the function is 0. So I can get rid of this one, this one, uh, this one, uh, this one, and that's about it. I'm going to keep all the values in which uh, there is y naught, but I can get rid of all the other ones. So uh, what I'm left with is x, y naught, z, plus x naught, y not z plus x y not z not plus x not y not z not okay so um I, I can't i can't really say anything about the other ones but i reduced all this expansion to this because i just got rid of all the values with just y and not y not so what do we do now? Well, um, we're going to have to test this expansion that I've just got by putting the entries inside 
Uh, and to do just that, I'm just going to copy it in this new page because I don't really have much room here. Okay. Can I get it? Uh, yes, I guess I can. Okay, there we go. So my expression was x, y, not. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I screwed that up. <laughs> okay, so my expression was x, y, not, z plus x, not, y, not, z plus x, y, not, z, not plus x, not, y, not, z, not. So I just copied it um, in the other page. Now I'm gonna try to enter all the entries that I had in the truth table. So I'm gonna start with all the entries. I'm gonna see whether I get the expected output, output or not. So for instance, and as a first try, I'm gonna say that my input is gonna be 0, 0, 0, and my expected output is gonna be 1. Then I'm gonna put 0, 0, 1. I'm gonna say that my expected output is 0 all the way down here. I'm gonna notice and just, you know, I'm just gonna test it. I'm gonna say whether it matches or if it doesn't match. If it does match, then I'm gonna go on and on and on and on again all the way down here. If it doesn't match, I'm gonna see which one doesn't make it match and I'm gonna delete it. And then I'm gonna go on and um, do it again. And until I find that there is a perfect match and I get the expression, the final expression. So, whoops, there we go. Okay, so as I said, my input is gonna be zero, 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 and my expected output is going to be 1 because of the truth table I just made. So uh, let's see whether this expression is fine. So let's try. If we put 0, 0, 0, I get 0 times 0, not times 0 plus 0, not times 0, not times 0 uh, plus 0 times 0, not times 0, not plus zero naught times zero naught times zero naught. So what do, do I get? I get zero times one times zero, because zero naught is one. Um, so plus one times one times zero, uh, plus zero times one times one, plus one times one times one, because those three were all with a naught. Um, so, well, I get 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1, so 1. It's a match. That's a match. So it's fine. I'm going to go on with the second value. So my input this time is going to be 0, 0, 1. And my expected output, out, out, output. It's going to be zero uh, because of the truth table again as i said um, zero zero one gives me zero so i expect it to give me zero uh, because if this expression is fine um, then it has to respect the truth table so again um, zero zero one is pretty output to zero let's see if we put 0, 0, 1, so 0, 0, 1 uh, here in this expression with all those variables, I'm going to get, um, well, I'm going to get 0 times 0, not times 1, plus 0, not times 0, not uh, times, uh, times 1, uh, plus 0 times 0, not times 1, not, plus 0, not times 0, not, times one not. So what do I get? Well, um, I get zero times one times one plus uh, one times one times one plus zero times one times zero plus one times one time, times one. 
times zero, sorry, because this one is one naught, so it becomes a zero. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's just do this. I get zero plus one plus ooh, plus zero plus zero. So I get one, but I expected this to be zero. So it's not a match. So it doesn't match. Um, so why why doesn't match? Well, um, the reason why it doesn't match is because of this uh, term here, which gives me a one. So this one, this one gives me a zero. It's fine. This one gives me a zero. It's fine. This one gives me a zero, so it's fine. But this one, this one is the is the guy. This is the guy that gives me one. So I don't want this. And I'm gonna go on. Um, so I'm gonna delete this. And I'm gonna say that my new expression. Yes, the same as before, but without this guy. So x y not z plus x y not z not plus x not y not z not. So I'm gonna go on and say okay. Let's try again with the input of zero zero one and the expected output to be zero. Well, in this case, everything is going to work out just fine because we're going to have um, 0 times 0 naught times 1 plus 0 times 0 naught times 1 naught plus 0 naught times um, 0 naught plus 1 naught times 1 naught. Well, why am I using the blue pen? I should be using the, the black one. I just got carried away and I was distracted. Okay, back with the black one. Okay, so this is zero times one times one, because zero naught is one, plus zero times zero naught is one, so it's one. One naught is zero, so zero. Uh, plus zero naught is one, zero naught is one, and one not is zero. So there we go. So zero times one times one is zero. Zero times one times uh, zero is zero. And one times one is one, but times zero is zero. So we end up with a zero. Bingo! It's a match. So we go on um, and we say, okay, fair enough. Can we go on? Yes, we can. Um, I'm gonna say, okay, this was zero, zero, 001, it gives me a zero. And I'm gonna go on uh, with the zero, 010, zero, which is gonna give me a zero. So input zero, 010, zero, input zero, 010, zero, and the expected output Zero one zero and the expected output is a zero. So I'm gonna go on with an with an expected output of zero. So let's see. Um, my new expression, as I said, was this one. So I'm gonna have uh, zero one zero. So zero times one naught times zero. Zero one zero. So zero times one naught times zero naught. Then we have um, zero naught times one naught times zero naught. So again, we get zero times one naught is zero times zero plus we get zero times one naught is zero and zero naught is one plus zero naught is one. Uh, one naught is zero and zero naught is one again. So zero times zero times zero is zero. 
plus 0 times 0 is 0 but times 1 is still 0 and 1 times 0 times 1 is 0 so we get 0 and again it's a match so we're happy with this if we go on we say that our input is now we've just done 0 1 0 so now we're going to go down to 0 1 1 and the expected uh, output is 0 so 0 1 1 expected output 0 so 0 1 1 0 1 1 and the expected output is 0 what is 0 yeah 0 1 1 expected output is 0 so now we do that again and we say okay 0 1 1 I'm gonna put it here in here so 0 times 1 naught times 1 plus 0 times 1 naught times 1 naught plus uh, 0 naught times 1 naught times 1 naught so we get 0 times uh, 0 times 1 0 times 0 times uh, 0 plus 1 times 0 times 0 so it's 0 times 0 times 1 is 0 0 times 0 times 0 is 0 1 times 0 times 0 is 0 so indeed this is 0 it's match. So now we're going to do that again. We have just done 0 times 1 times 1. As, I'm sorry, 0, 1, 1. Um, so we, now we're going to go with 1, 0, 0. And the expected output is going to be 1. So input is 1, 0, 0. And the expected output is 1. So the input is 1, 0, 0. And the expected output is 1. Again, we're going to try to put the number in here. So 1 times uh, 0, not times 0 plus 1 times 0 not times 0 not plus 1 not times 0 not times 0 not so we expect it to be 1 let's see we get 1 times 0 not is 1 times 0 plus 1 times 0 not is 1 times 0 not is 1 then we already say victory and then we have 1 not which is 0 times 0 not which is 1 times 0 not which is 1 so 1 times 1 times 0 is 0 1 times 1 times 1 is indeed 1 and 0 times 1 times 1 is 0 so it's a 1 it's a match it's almost over uh, if we're going on like this then it's gonna be fine uh, so we just need 1 times 0 times uh, 1 0 0 uh, 1 I expected out was indeed 1. Uh, now we're going to test 101 with the result of 1. So 101 with the result of 1. So input 101 and expected output 101 and the expected output is still a 1. Let's see. Let's put 101 uh, in here, in here, and in here again, as we always do. So 1 times 0 naught times 1 plus 1 times 0 naught times 1 naught plus 1 naught times 0 naught times 1 naught. So we get 1 times 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1 times um, 0 so we can already see that this is 1 this is 0 and this one is 0 so it's a 1 it's a match so now we're crossing our fingers and hopefully just hopefully with our last input of 
one well our last but one input of one one zero with the expected output of uh, zero if i remember correctly yeah one one zero zero so with the expected output of zero uh we're crossing our fingers uh because if these holds and the next one holds then we have our expression so one one zero in here again as we always do so one one zero we will get uh one times uh, one naught times zero plus one times one naught times zero naught plus one naught times one naught times zero naught and we have one times zero times uh, zero plus one times zero times one plus zero times zero times one so this is zero this is i'm sorry this is zero uh this is zero and this is zero so it's indeed zero and then we're gonna have the last one because this is one is match so the the very last one here uh let me see if i can just yeah it's it should be okay to see here okay so the last one is one 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 and the output is uh zero so the expected output is going to be zero here so input one 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 and the expected output is zero so then let's just put um one 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 uh in here again into this expression so if you put one 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 in there we're gonna get twelve um one times one naught times one plus one times one naught times one naught plus one naught times one naught times one naught. So we get one times zero times one um plus one times zero times zero plus zero times zero times zero so this is zero this is zero and this indeed is zero so it's zero it's a match and we can say victory because our expression is this one this one has been proven to be okay so it's x y not z plus x y not z not plus x not y not z not so this is our expression we solve the problem and we are happy after all those things so uh, as you can see, it's not complicated. Uh, just have to go through a lot of spe a lot of steps. Though you start with the expression, you with those three variables, you write down the truth table with all the possible inputs and all the outputs according to how this function is going to behave. Then you say, okay, uh, all the possible combination are all those things. So all the combination with um, all the possible not till all those three are with the not um, and then you go do search and you try to find a to analyze when the function is one and not when is zero so you're not interested in when the function is zero and you just notice that when y was equal to one the function was always zero uh, so you were able to uh, to just remove the y uh, of course it's not just a big deal uh you could just 
try with all those combinations, but eventually uh, you're just going to remove them. Um, you're just gonna be, take more steps. So, but right now using this trick, uh, I kind of remove the y when the y, um, all the expression with y and uh, left, I was only left with the ones with uh, y not. Then I tried to input into my expression all the input of the truth table and I was wondering whether the output was going to be respected. Uh, and the first thing it was, the second one it wasn't. Uh, so I removed uh, the, mm, the term that was actually, you know, the, 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 the one that was causing it not to be uh, respected. And I got with this simplified expression and I tested all the entries of the truth table and all were a match. So the, in, the for all possible inputs, the output was respected. So I can say that this expression that I got is exactly uh, the same as having this one. So again, it's, uh, it's a method. It takes a very long time, but it's nothing, you know, you can do that. It just takes a few steps.